I've never had Gatorade water. I got the bag again. You guys love the last one, so we're doing it again. This is from a local liquor store, okay? dropping the gut on the table like this on the counter like this dude i get it it probably weighs a lot of weight 100 percent, obviously and this is what it's, this is i always say this okay if you're a woman out there and a dude and or a dude i'm sure this applies to you as well if you are about to engage in sexual activity with a gentleman that may that may be over a certain idea of weight so let's just say like 300 pounds the only real position that a lot of those guys can really do is from the back, right? Uh, the modern the modern terminology for it is called back shots, if you will. So if you're receiving back shots, just acknowledge that the guy that's going to be behind you is picking up his stomach and dropping it on your back because that's the optimal technique for it. You think it's, first of all, if he didn't do that, it would be interfering with whatever you're doing at that particular point in time, right? There would literally be like a barrier. So he's going to have to pick it up and he's going to have to put it on your back. That's just what the natural, that's the natural evolution of that particular body style is going to lead to. So if you're not down for that, right, then you probably shouldn't be with a fat person. I just got to keep it a buck with you. Fat man, particularly, I don't know many women that are uh, fat bodied individuals that also possess a, a good quality meat size. Again, also, that guy probably hasn't seen his penis in a very, very long time. I know for me personally, even if I was very, very fat, I would have no issue with that because I'm big meated myself. But a lot of gentlemen that are in the bigger size ranges, they don't have that privilege because it's like pancaking, right? The gut that they have is perpetually just evaporating light, energy, uh, air around that particular area. So when he does unleash it, it's like a black hole. Just It just sucks up everything and anything within that area. So I don't know. I just wanted to point that out um, that this is not abnormal. Having somebody drop the gut on the counter like this, that's a normal thing. That's a very normal thing. So just want everybody to acknowledge that this is something that's going to happen if you want to have sex with a fat man. Okay, so not 7-Eleven. Two bags of chips, naturally. The OG, the OG variants of these chips as well. Um, for me personally, I get, I get really, really happy when a new Star Wars toy comes out because I'm a child, but, um, for her, it's when the new Chester Cheeto bag comes out. Uh, we have different priorities, as you can see. If you know, you know. That doesn't even make sense because when you know, you know, the song's about breaking up. So are you breaking up with Chester Cheeto? Why? Every time I see this woman, all of her shirts are perpetually covered in the food residue that she just ate. I don't think it's, I think it's literally impossible. And I think this shirt is on backwards. I mean, or at least she just burnt open the hole and in, in, in the neck hole. It literally looks like she took the neck and just started tearing it. But, you know, she probably does have a big neck or maybe no neck at all. She is 600 pounds. I got these for my friend, but I got these for me. I love these more. No need to lie, bro. We all, we both know you, you got that for your mouth. I got these to try because they looked interesting and I love sour belts. I've never had them though. Why are we even shopping at the 7-Eleven to begin with? Uh, aren't there like better places that you can go to to spend your time, money, effort? All that stuff would be way better spent at a grocery store picking up actual food. But this woman has convinced herself that 7-Eleven has the appropriate food choices for her. And she visits it almost every single day. Like I literally look on her profile every single day and I just see that she has a new... 7-Eleven haul. Guess what, guys? 7-Eleven and her stomach be perpetually bloated, busted, bubbling, just gurgling on a consistent basis, bro. This woman literally eats like a seven-year-old would eat if they didn't have parents that cared about the them. The brand is called Raindrops. It says, enjoy the adventure. I guess Gatorade has water now. So Why can't we just drink regular water? I, I'm 100% sure it'd be better if you put your mouth right below the tap and you just started suffocating your throat with that. That would be way better than drinking Gatorade water, but I'm happy that she's even drinking anything that has water in it to begin with because she usually drinks sodas. So this is a step up, I guess. I mean, technically it's not exactly what I would want her to, to drink, but what do you want, dude? We'll take wins wherever we can get them. It says unflavored, I don't know how to pronounce this. That's so crazy to be like unflavored water. Can you imagine somebody saying that to you? Unflavored water? Yeah, that's just called water. Word alkaline let's go ahead <laughs> shut up dude what do you mean you don't know what that word is yeah that makes sense actually nah that makes sense that you don't know what that word is dude i can tell nah i can tell bro yo why do you got literal grease on your forehead right now dude oh, man unflavored i don't know how to pronounce this word alkaline never heard that word before in her life dude this woman has never touched water before in her life let's go ahead and try it cheers See gatorade it. That gut on the table is crazy. It's water. Damn. 
Um, what happened, dude? Is that just your reaction to drinking anything that's not like salted or sugared up? Like, is are you upset that there's no there's no carbonation within this? Are you upset that there's no syrupy deliciousness in this? Why is your forehead so goddamn greasy? <sighs> whatever, dude. I, I don't know what the I, don't, I have no idea what the point of that is, but whatever. She's herself. She is her. <sighs> It's so good. It's just water. Literally unflavored, bro. It's so messy. And you know what? I do believe that this woman lives with her friend and she'd be destroying the house, bro. This woman, real deal, just be chilling around the house with food residue. She'd be picking off random times. I've seen her just, just not, not even eating food sometimes. I'll just see her just find some food on her shirt. Like, oh, yeah, guys, you know. I was at the club the other night, just not even not even acknowledging the food, right? She'll just completely body slam whatever residue, the crustacean upon her chest, and she'll eat it off herself and just carry on with the conversation as if she didn't just do what she did. I hope I can, like, run a marathon after this. Then, don't play with her. I mean, truck on her. She's not the one, the two, or the three. Damn. Like this, because my cousins have told me about it. It is expired. I know. I don't know why I got it, but I don't care. I'm still going to try it. How much money do you have always... where you're just spending money on literal dog shit ass candy? The expired candy is insane, bro. You couldn't got anything that was better than this. Why did you choose to buy this? Literally because it was expired? We're just wasting time in our lives, aren't we, huh? You made it to 600 pounds. I see how. You're literally visiting the 7-Eleven just picking up literal snack foods on a consistent basis, dude. It would be better if actually you had some of that Chef Boyardee back here. Dude, that Chef Boyardee back there looks way better than whatever the fuck you're eating. I'm going to try it. The gum that has... See, that's the issue. You saying you're willing to try it is a problem. Uh, that's never how you should approach anything in life, dude. It shouldn't be like, oh, you know, I'll try anything once. Or, like, the way she's looking at it is, like, the food choices. Would that ever apply to, like, anything in life? Like, me being a heterosexual man, I've never looked at a homosexual man, a man of, of, of the meat lover. I would never look at a guy like that and go, you know what? I might as well give it a try. I mean, I might just try it for the one time. Never. I never thought about ever engaging in sexual intercourse with a man and or having his meat been enlarged into my mouth. Never had that happen to me. But for you, for some reason, you go into the 7-Eleven and you just be going through the aisle and you know when you pull up to that 7-Eleven, the dude's behind the counter be like, oh lord, she coming. Oh lord, she coming. Because this woman gotta be spending at least 50 bills a day at that at, at that 7-Eleven. Buying slot. And then of course, you can never go wrong. Those are like 50 cents each too. Uh, they're not worth 50 cents. I'm gonna keep it a bug with you. Blow pops, buy a big bag of them during Halloween for like $8 and there's like 200 of them in there. With a Tootsie Roll, a caramel. One of these. Dude. Oh, grab it. Damn. Sour. I used to buy these when I was like 15, dude. I used to pull up to the uh, the Vietnamese corner store, dude, and I, they would have a whole rack full of them. They used to be 10 cents. 10 cents, right? Can you believe that? And I would walk up in there with four dollars. That I walk out of there, oof! I was doing it big, bro. I had them double, ah, them double Krabby Patties, bro. I always saved the green one for last, but you know I haven't had, I haven't had these Krabby Patties in a really long time because I am an adult. Lastly, that makes sense. Um, not even I have no quarrel with this. This makes total sense to buy the Pepto Bismol after all of the shit you just put up on a table. That makes sense. I know your stomach is bubbling. I know your stomach is hurting after eating all this shit, bro. I don't even know how you're even alive eating the food that you're eating, dude. This is just a testament, okay? You can literally be 600 pounds eat and have literal grease perspirating on the top of your head, eating literally every the, 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 the front selection of every 7-Eleven, and somehow your body is still chugging along. And you got to buy Pepto-Bismol so your stomach don't explode all at once, dude. You literally got to let that shit bake in your stomach for a little bit longer, man. Because you know that you got, you're going to have the runs, dude. Your shit's going to be bubbling for days after this shit. It had to be done. Yeah, no shit. Bye. Damn, bro. I mean, it was an obvious thing. You need the Pepto-Bismol after all that. Hello, my little dreamers. Come with me on a solo trip from Seattle to L.A. The weather was so beautiful and gloomy. I miss Seattle so much. This time I flew with American Airlines. This was me after security, lol. You already know what it is. First class, baby. Dude, first class. Damn. 600, you say, huh? Good lord, man. What kind of physique is that?
I see you wore the best shirt. Actually, see, no gut in this one. So I'll give her that. She did tuck in the shirt. I'll give her that. Usually, whenever she walks around, I do see a little bit of the gut residue slopping out. OTD. This was like a smaller aircraft, so we did have to walk up like a rail. No, I think it's a ramp. You guys realize I'm only making this video for my plus size girlies. I weigh over 600 pounds and. 600 pounds, bro. 600 solid ass pounds, man. Good lord, man. Do you ever think. You ever thought that human beings would ever even reach something like that? Just keep in mind this for a second, okay? Even if you were a very tall woman, let's just say you were like 5'10", let's say you were 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 you shouldn't weigh anything more than maybe 180 pounds. This woman is literally 3Xing that, maybe almost even a 4Xing that, and that's just like her everyday thing. And keep in mind, that was very ambiguous too. I'm a woman that weighs over 600 pounds. I mean, to be honest though, once you reach over 600 pounds, it really doesn't matter anymore. Fuck it. <laughs> you, why are you even counting anymore? 600 pounds over, dude. Once you reach 600 pounds, dude, you, you're basically a whole nother classification of fucked. So I don't doubt that she don't weigh herself anymore. She has no idea what that is. Because once she saw that 600, she was probably like, never looking at the scale ever again. Dude, that's depression personified. And it is. Can you imagine literally looking at that scale, seeing 600 pounds and doing nothing about it? And I want you to know this video for my plus size girlies. First of all, when you say plus size girlies, dude, are you considering yourself to be a plus size girly? You're 600. You're literally two plus size girlies. There's no way you're a plus size. You're a big ass girly. You're a big backed girly. That is some different level, dude. You're not even close to a plus size. Plus size should. We gotta stop using that word plus size, dude. Because if she thinks that she's a plus size, and little Debbie down the street who weighs 260, is also plus size, who the fuck is right? Obviously not her. Obviously not this woman. Two, you, bro, you're literally six, 600. Mm, man. Oh, man. Could, like, this this level, like, guys, I'm doing this to help people that are around my, first of all, people that are around your weight are more than likely not even moving, let alone taking planes. So, like, this video is for no one. You're literally helping no one. No one is looking at you as, like, a, a hero or like an inspiration or like this is who I got to look up to whenever I want a plus size travel. Even if you are a plus size individual, you don't look at somebody that's over 600 pounds as a person that you utilize to, 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 to like, oh, let me go ahead and use this person as like a, they have this experience. No, this is, nobody's having this experience like her. I weigh over 600 pounds Damn. and I want you to know if you need to get somewhere, we're getting you there. I prefer to fly first. Two seatbelt extenders is insane, bro. Just for some hints, okay? Just just to throw it out there, just a little tidbit, J-Bay only uses one. This woman need two. Two seatbelt extenders? That is bleg. You are real bleg, bro. That means that you have that maximum length on the first, the regular seatbelt, and then you need the maximum length on the extender, and then you needed one more just to fully wrap around your body. And you never thought about losing weight? Alright. This class instead of two seats, but do whatever. I think that this one seat too is obviously it doesn't even look like it's big enough for her. It's best for you. I'm always the first seat on the flight. Here's me before takeoff, during takeoff. Because she's getting away from all the Burger Kings, dude, all the Mickey D's. It's been a year and four months since I've seen my family. But here I was crying because I really am going to miss Seattle. Seattle has become my second home. I've been living there for the past eight years. I miss it dearly. Look at this. Beautiful. This is the Pacific oh, so Northwest. So okay. Oh, my God. It's calling my name. So a little bit about the ticket. This was a one way. It was around 400 to 500 dollars. Four to five hundred dollars is insane, by the way, for a one-way ticket. I get it that it's first class, but damn, bro, four to five. And by the way, why do you mean four or five hundred dollars? Is there not like an actual number that you? Why did you? Why are you so ambiguous, bro? It's like somebody saying, "How many people did you kill?" I might have killed ten or thirty people. Like, um, hold up, now. I think that that gap is a little bit too ambiguous. I think you're leaving a little bit too much out there. I think we got to actually talk about that a little bit. Do you not, do you not remember? It's always a red flag, by the way, when somebody... I remember one time, I, this girl asked me what my body count was. So I told her, and then I asked her, I was like, oh, what's your body count? She's like, I don't even remember anymore. And I was like, really? That's interesting. That is actually not good. 
That is not good. Now, it's fine if you have a high body count. No problem at all. But it's always so concerning when somebody says something like that. Or if somebody goes, my body count is this. And then they go, but I'm not counting girls. And you go, oh, oh, really? Oh, really? I don't know why they don't give full meals anymore. They I believe that the flight from Seattle, Washington to California is about three hours or maybe a little bit less than three hours. I don't know why you would need a meal in between that three hour stretch. What do you want exactly, bro? Uh, it's not exactly a far flight. Three hours, dude? You're good. You didn't need a you, you didn't need a full meal on the way there. And by the way, what they gave you looked pretty good. Four hundred to five hundred dollars. I mean, I'm looking at some pretty high stuff. Uh, maybe she's concerned about the fact that she spent that much money and she didn't get a meal on the way. But then again, dude, it's like a three hour flight or like 250 minutes. Um, you got some grapes, you got a banana, you got crackers, dude, you got some cheese. I think that's your granola bar right there. What is that? Some fruit snacks? It's not too bad. That's all right for me, bro. Most people are going to be satisfied about that. But you got to understand our girly here, our baddie here, um, she is her. She's an it girl, obviously. Uh, she needs that meal regardless, okay? Uh, the flight actually was disappointing because I didn't get a meal on this three-hour flight. That I, I spent $600 on, maybe. I don't know why they don't give full meals anymore. They just give out, like, snack boxes with, like, protein and shit that makes you think you're eating something. <laughs> well, well, protein is pretty good. And, by the way, I don't even think there was much protein in this. Well, I guess maybe, like, some of this has protein, but not much of it. I just love the way she said that. I just love the way she said, like, they make you think you're eating something. Do you not consider protein to be, like, good? <laughs> Anyways, I'm here. Where's in and out Let's get that. That's crazy, bro. Can you imagine landing in California and the first thing you think about? Yo, where the in and out My stomach is growling. I didn't even get a full meal on the plane. Where them burgers is at? That's crazy as hell. That's some real big back shit. Hi, my little wow. dreamers. Mm. Damn, she got that fucking hole in that shirt too, bro. Look at that. Damn, bro. What the fuck happened here, dude? Why are you just wearing shirt? You know, I can't say much. I think I got a hole in my shirt. But then again, not many people could see it, right? And then again, also for me, there's not any standards for me. And also, many people don't look at me like that anyway, so. Mm. Mm. Dude, why are you eating the crumbs? The crumbs off the residue is crazy. Like, <laughs> stop playing with them, Safeway bagels, you know. They Safeway? Isn't Safeway? Isn't that a convenience store? What? Why, why is your entire diet defined by, like, random gas station food? Wait, you don't have a, you don't have a grocery store anywhere near you, bro? I know that's bullshit because I see this woman driving, dude. She, I know she'd be driving. She'd be pulling up to the 7-Elevens, but it seems like she's just resistant to going to a grocery store and buying actual food. They're always going to hit the spot. Look at that. I'm not even playing. Like, I'm that shit look diabolical, dude. That doesn't look good at all. Mesmerized. Y'all, I'm just sitting here. Like, I decided to make a bagel and an iced coffee at home. And I'm just enjoying the weather. It's sunny out in Seattle. Like, I'm like on moon, like on a cloud. Got my little iced coffee. No water. Whatever. No water to be found. Go ahead and eat this. Mmm. 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 No, this is game. Damn, mm. she just wiped her hand right on them sweatpants, dude. I can't really expect much, though. Mm. Dude, get this shit out of my fucking face, bro. This fucking crusty ass. What is that, bro? The flakes from somebody else's food on your shit. Okay, I get it, bro. We all get it, bro. That shit good in your mouth. I can tell you literally got the residue on the side of your mouth right now. You're literally not. Can you get it? Can you have a napkin? They didn't give you a napkin. Could you get that real quick, bro? You got literal the cream cheese or whatever the fuck that shit is on the side of your mouth right now. You don't give a fuck about yourself at all? You don't care about fuck. You don't care about yourself at all? This shit is literally you I'm I'm gonna go ahead and dial in my inner Gen Z. Your aura is negative 200 right now, bro. You literally got a hole in your shirt. You don't fit you and you got cream cheese slipping out the side of your mouth. What are you doing? You're not that girl. Yo, come on, man. My friends and my coworkers hate when I do that, but when it's busting, it's busting. Dude, it's it's a it's just a bagel that looks like you put in an air fryer with cream cheese on it. 
It's not supposed. I, I don't. I don't. Have you never had a bagel with cream cheese before? It's not that. It's I. It's I. It seemed like you loaded that shit up with the cream cheese though. It's gotta be at least a pound on that thing. But it's not that good. It's not that good. It's all right. That shit might hit the spot every once in a while, but it never was so good that I had a literal 30 second montage of me going, mmm, mmm, mmm. I never done that. Not even a single time in my entire life. And I'm gonna let you know. Ooh, I love when the cream cheese pops out like that. My, I cannot eat like regular cream cheese. Why are you putting it on your finger, dude? I'm always, I don't like it when people have their fingers so deep into their food, bro. Especially if you're outside and you got this shit at 7 Eleven, dude. You know you getting somebody's meat water residue on your hands, bro. You know how many dudes I know personally that beat off, that don't wash their hands, that just go outside, be shaking hands, opening doors, doing the, the most diabolical shit ever. And 100%, if you're going to 7-Eleven, dude, I literally saw a video recently of a guy that ran into a 7-Eleven, busted, beat his meat in front of a woman, and beat his meat, busted on a woman's leg and ran. Now think about that. You got dudes literally going into 7-Eleven that are drive-by beating on women, and you don't think that that bagel got a little bit of meat water? A little bit of that fucking, that the jizz? Yeah, bro, that shit got big busting bellies all over that shit, bro. But I guess you don't care. I mean, to be honest, dude, the diet is already diabolical. It don't matter. It always has to be whipped. I don't know why. Oof. I don't know why I'm screaming. Solid, just in the mouth, too. That's crazy, man. Am I screaming? Mm, mm, mm. It's just mm, cream mm. cheese, dude. Whatever, mm. though. When people ask me what dude, my... Dude, can we do something about that on the side of your mouth? Why is, that just, why is it still there? My favorite food is, aside from Mexican food... I... Mexican food is so ambiguous, dude. That, can you imagine somebody saying, like, Hey, dude, what's your favorite food? And you go, American. What is that? That what it, that doesn't tell me anything, dude. Mexican food? Like, can you be... Is it like wachatas or is it like, what is Mexican food, bro? I don't know, like Veliz Navidad? I don't know. I don't know. What is Mexican food? Like chinchillas and shit? I don't fucking know. I always say a bagel with cream cheese. Cool. I can eat a bagel with cream cheese. At dude, any just, ca <laughs> just casually picking the crumbs off your, off, off your chest like that is crazy, bro. Did you not see how smooth she was with that shit too, bro? Watch the, watch the smoothness real quick. A bagel with cream cheese. I can eat. A bagel with cream cheese at any time of the day. Yo, why you why you sneak it into your mouth like that? Why you didn't think we saw you grabbing that shit and just oh that should be good at fucking my mouth. I love cream cheese. I love bagel. I saw you. I saw you doing that shit. You're not smooth. I saw you put the crumbs in your mouth. So you guys were just gonna let me walk around with with the Man, woman. Woman got more facial hair than me, bro. Cream cheese like that on my face. You weren't gonna let me know. It might actually be a benefit. It might have actually improved your physical appearance. Yo. Shoo-wee. Sometimes you have to be careful with these because sometimes they're not cooked all the way, but like baked all the way. And it has happened to me once that I got a pack of these. I This time I went for the single one. A pack? What do you mean you got a pack of these? Isn't it just a bagel? What, do they come pre-cooked? Like what, what, do you, what do you mean you got a pack? I don't know if they call them bulk, but like you get to pick the ones you want. I got jalapeno and cheese. I got one multi-grain because I, I don't know if you know, but we bagels are bomb. And then I got sesame, so I only got three. But I hope only? you guys have a great weekend. Bon appetit. Bye. Hi, my little dreamers. How is everyone doing? I saw these in the store the other day and I could not believe it. Growing up in my town, I had a Baskin Robbins, so I definitely know what the mint chip tastes like. You eating this shit laying down, bro? What is this, a midnight snack for you? Good lord, woman. You don't give a fuck about yourself at all? This, oh my god. You just gonna eat a solid ice cream like this while you laying down? Disrespectful, bro. There's a lot of cool new snacks coming out. <laughs> My bad, dude. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm not up to date. Maybe I'm not into this. I, you know, I personally, I like Dragon Ball. You know, I like Star Wars. Obviously, I like Serp. I love Serp, and I represent for the the Tampex gang out there. All the all the people out there with egg sacs represent. 
Um, I'm interested in those things. I'm not really interested in keeping up to date with what the newest snacks are and where to get them personally. Uh, maybe I'm weird. Uh, maybe I'm just a, a really, really weird person that doesn't keep up with where to get the latest little Debbies and, you know, how to get them zebra cakes deep in your mouth. Like, I'm not really up to date. <laughs> I don't know what little Debbie's coming out with next. But for somebody like this to be like a connoisseur that knows exactly when and what is coming out, I'm not surprised. That makes a lot of sense, actually, looking upon this woman. And I always like to try new things. Like it's just ice cream dipped in chocolate that was made in a factory probably 400 miles 400 miles away come out so i definitely really like these the chocolate on the outside is rich and it's not like fake tasting or anything and inside it tastes like mint chocolate chip just like the ice cream it's creamy i honestly just wish there was more of like the chocolate chips inside but you you don't think you got enough it's never enough for you, huh? You just need one of everything. You need you need all of that shit to be at maximum, no matter what it was. You're never satisfied with your mouth. Like, you're literally laying down right now in the middle of the night, body slamming a box of ice cream, and you're still not satisfied, bro? You ain't never gonna be satisfied then. You just, it's unquenchable for you. But at the same time, it's still very good. Damn, that was a big ass bite. This box comes to around like five to seven dollars and it comes with four bars only. <laughs> My bad. Four bars only is kind of crazy. Let me know if you go ahead and try them. I think I saw a couple flavors. Nobody's trying this shit. Nobody, nobody's pulling up to the 7-Eleven and, and picking up a quick couple box that is nobody's doing that. And by the way, I don't know why you're reviewing this food as if anybody's going to the 7-Eleven and picking them up because they saw your review. Nobody's doing that either. I don't even understand the points of these videos, bro. For them, let me know what you think. That'd be like me reviewing like, oh yeah, guys, we're going to find out what, what is the best cereal to slide your meat into. Just in case anybody's wondering, just in case you ever find yourself in a position to where maybe you accidentally slip a little bit of hot sauce on your meat and you need to real quick self loop Everybody know that milk is the number one antidote, especially when you got that when you got the hot sauce on your meat. I made that mistake once or twice, right? What you gotta do? Get the fruit roll-ups. Sorry, the the you get the fruity the fruity the fruity pebbles. You put them in a bowl. You put fill it up with milk. Just lay it in there. Or what you could do? A great technique, personally, I think that you could do: have the bowl on the floor and just plank on it. Just plank on it. Have your meat marinate in the milk. That's right. That's what you gotta do. And afterwards. Depending on how long you marinated the meat, now you got a fruity pebble milky meat. That shit is appetizing. Not for me, though. For other people. Whoever is in your life that is going to be indulging in your big, masculine, meaty, megalodon meat. You're welcome. I would rate these like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, that's bullshit. And by the way, nobody cares. Nobody's watching this video to, to fulfill their mouth with the dietary decisions of this woman. I want to try more snacks, so let me know what you think is good. Also, did you see the eclipse yesterday? I didn't catch any of it in Seattle. Yeah, because she was body slamming a little bit too much. She forgot about that. Life. Forget about life, dude. I got them little Debbies, dude. Them zebra cakes, dude. Them nutty butters, bro. Oh, my mouth. Oh, them zebra cakes in my throat beat really loosening me up, man. Bye. Hola, mis pequeños soñadores y soñadoras. In other words, hi, my little dreamers. Welcome to Barona Indian Reservation. I'm not surprised. That's your friend right there? Gorlock? Here I am with Sky. We slay per you. Yo, you gotta calm down. What you mean by you're not her? You're really not her, bro, okay? Calm down with that shit. Come with me as I got invited to a surprise birthday party. Here's a photo booth. I would regret it if I invited this woman, dude. I know she's gonna be body slamming the rest of the whole thing, bro. So, as you can tell... Bro, whose birthday are we celebrating? Like an 80-year-old's, bro? What do you mean, kiss? Decorations and theme was kiss. You guys are gonna hate me. I barely know songs from them. Okay, here's my friend. So, they all go over there, and he thinks it's him, his party. <laughs> it's a kiss wedding and i heard what i like about you i don't know i don't know what i was expecting dude oh God, yeah. is this just candy this is all candy 
<laughs> oh, wow. This is all candy and chips, huh? God damn, bro. Somebody need to, yo, somebody needs to real quick, bro. Get this woman away from the snack tray, bro. That's crazy, bro. She really ran up on a snack table like this? Does the woman behind the counter not feel bad about what she's doing to this woman? I mean, this this one bowl alone got to be reducing her life by three years. She don't got much left. Oh, the chakra sauce on that too? Damn. Gracias. That's diabolical, dude. Damn, man. You got to calm down a little bit. Where the where the food at? There's no meals anywhere. You gotta you gotta always eat just straight up sludge no matter where you go. Oh man. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, I'd appreciate if you leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things. I'd appreciate tremendously. Um, I don't know what's up with this girl, bro. Anytime I ever watch one of her videos, I'm always slow disappointed, dude. Whether it be her sliding her gut on a table or complaining that her back hurts because. You're 600 pounds. I don't know what the fuck I tell you. You're 600. Like, well, obviously, your back's going to hurt. I'd be surprised if it didn't hurt, okay? I know some women that just have, like, uh, abnormally large boobs, and they consistently complain about their back problems. I don't even know what kind of pains you're dealing with at 600 pounds, dude. But I guess it's the life you want to live. I just got to imagine if she lost all her weight, she would just start floating. I, you know what I'm talking about, dude? You would lose a lot of weight. You'd just be like a balloon or something like that. You'd start floating away, and it'd be a great life, bro. You would literally be like a superhero or whatever. Hopefully, there's like a... A rope that you can use to pull yourself back down to earth. But anyway, um, you got a job is like a hot air balloon, though. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in candy. I don't know. This woman seems to be obsessed with it. And she loves it. And she'd be drinking that Pepto-Bismol every single day just to get her stomach right, prepared for what's about to go down. Have the She literally probably got that plumber on speed dial, bro. That got that dude on the fucking rotary, dude. You know what I'm talking about, man? She got that dude on retainer because her stomach got be bubbling. But anyway, guys, um, you're beautiful. You're a spectacular and amazing person. I really, really love you. I thank you for watching today's video. I truly do appreciate you and all the support. Thank you, everybody. I really, really love every single one of you guys. Um, maybe a little bit too much, but uh, thank you for watching today's video. I appreciate you tremendously. Uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.